Welcome back to my three-part video series all about functions inside of Chatbot Builder. In my last functions video, I showed you the very basics of how we can use the function to send people to specific flows. This video, we're gonna step it up a little bit higher and I'm gonna show you how you could do the same concept but add a little twist to it to make it more interesting. This is gonna be very handy for those of you who are working with course creators or content creators and you wanna send things like videos to the user. So let's jump in and let me show you another way you can use functions. I get a lot of questions about how a course creator or a YouTube creator, what have you, can share course materials, for instance, video with their audience inside of the chatbot. And so in this example, I'm going to be sending people to a flow that gives a tutorial video. We're going to go over to our functions and we're going to click on manage. Now I already created the flow for this and I will go through that with you. So the first step is to create the flow in which you want the people to go to. So we're gonna click start, we're gonna name it. What does this do? Gives a video to the user so they can learn how to build their first AI chatbot. Does this function collect data? In this case, I am not collecting the user's data. I'm just going to use it as a conduit for the AI to send the user to a specific piece of content. So we're gonna go ahead and trigger the flow that I built, which I'm gonna show you, build first AI chatbot, and then that's it. We're gonna click continue. Now, before this is active, we're gonna go back to our integrations. We're gonna go over to OpenAI, and we're gonna go to edit. And we need to tell our master prompt what we'd want them to do in this specific case. So I'm gonna actually go down to a section where I have that information listed. Usually I could put it at the bottom. You put it wherever you want, All right? And then we're gonna go add the function. We're gonna add the function building first AI chatbot. So make sure it's there. And then I'm gonna just add here and then we're gonna save. All right, so the flow is actually a very cool flow that I wanted to show you specifically. So I'm gonna go into my functions where I keep this flow. And the way I built this flow is essentially, if you are using web chat, you can embed video right into the web chat, whereas other platforms you can't. So what I did here for this flow is I started with a condition and the condition is current channel is web chat. So if they are in a web chat accessing and chatting, then I wanna send them the embedded video, which is gonna look like, let me show you real quick. It's gonna look like this where they get an actual embedded YouTube video. Now, all the other channels can't do that. So then if they're not on web chat, I'm gonna send them just to a card that has the same thumbnail, a little bit of information and a link to the YouTube video. And this just creates a better user experience. So imagine if you are a course creator, you could literally put a how-to video in bed, just like I did, and then you can have a card for even an unlisted video. So this is a really handy way of doing it. So I'm gonna hit publish. Now let me show you really quickly how I actually built this so that you know step-by-step. Step. But in terms of our function, this thing is live. It's actually usable at this point. If I go back to my flows and we're just gonna basically recreate this so that you can see exactly how I built it. We're gonna go to add. And in this case, let's do prompt engineering. All right, and continue. We start here like any flow. And in this case, I wanna add that condition. So I'm gonna go over here to this little plus sign. We're gonna go to condition. And I'm gonna move this over here and push this play button, which is gonna make this my starting step. Click on the condition and add the condition. Now it's always going to start with language. We're actually going to go and look for one that says current channel. This is the current channel they're coming in from and is, and again, we're going to say web chat because that's the differentiator and save. So we have one thing, web chat, and then we have down here, another thing, which will be non web chat. So let's go ahead and go grab a YouTube video for this. So here's the five P's video that I was referencing. I want to share this. So I'm going to first click share and we're going to get the embedded code, hit copy, head on back over here. And just in this message block, we're going to add text and I'm just going to put in the code. That's all I do. Now you can absolutely add another text box above and say something to the effect of below is the video that you want. Like you add your own spin. I just want to show you the basics here. So just leave it as is. All right. So that's good to go. Now in the non web chat, we're going to go down here. And we're going to open our box. And in this case, I'm going to do a card. I just prefer cards. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and you would upload the, the thumbnail. I'm going to upload this image, go to recent, it should pop up 
right there. Upload the image. All right, so we'll just say five Ps of prompt engine. All right, and then we're gonna add a button. You can put whatever you want. I'm gonna say watch now. Put a little emoji in here. I always like to do that for these watch nows. I have a little play button, okay? And we are also going to add the link. So we're gonna go back to the video and this time instead of the embedded code, we're just gonna grab the link and we'll add that to open website and save. Now you can also tag people, all that stuff, but essentially this is the flow that you would connect to your function. So let me show you how I do that. So publish, this flow is correct and ready to rock. We are gonna go head back out to our settings, into our integrations, down to open AI, functions, we're gonna add a new function, prompt engineering tutorial, gives the user a tutorial on the five Ps of prompt engineering, All right? We are not collecting data in this case, just like before. And we will select prompt engineering and continue. Again, just like before, integrations. We go down to open AI, back to here. We're gonna add it in our dropdown, prompt engineering. And then I always like to add it here as well. So we'll say, and then continue. And that's it. Now you're all set and ready to go. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you're learning how to use functions in ways that you didn't even know what's possible. In the last of the series about functions in the next video, I'm going to take it up even more and show you the most popular and arguably the most powerful way to use functions which allows us to capture user information before we send them to a specific flow. This is gonna make your AI chatbot unstoppable. So be sure to subscribe and follow this playlist specifically to learn more about how to use Chatbot Builder AI to blow yourself away when it comes to AI chatbots.